Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our case of reservoir simulation for CCS, carbon capture and sequestration in geological storage. Actually, we want to study CO2 injection into an aquifer and we will do that using CMG. So previously we have constructed the reservoir model. Okay. And Next is we want to prepare the component. And for CMG, we will do that in WinProp. Okay, so from here, from Builder, we go back to CMG Technology Launcher. And this is our file, co2injection.dat. Now we will go to the, this one, WinProp. Okay, let's wait. Okay, this, this is the window for WinProp. All right, so you can follow me. The first one is the title. The title, equation of state, and the units. All right, first we, win, we want to define the, the title, the name of the case, for example. I will just call it, for example, WinProp underscore CO2 injection like this. Okay, you can name it whatever you want. You can also add the title, first line, line two and line three. And then we need to define the equation of state. The default setting is Plank Robinson 1978. If you open the drop down menu, we can select Plank Robinson 76, Sofa Redley Kwong. GND, I forget what GND stands for, and so for Wong. In this case, I recommend you to use Peng Robinson, okay? But you can also exercise using other equation of state. And for the unit, we will use metric units. So it will be KPA, kilopascal and degree Celsius or degree centigrade and fit in terms of mole, but you can also play with mass. Okay, so looking at this tree, simulation data set, simulation steps, we have defined the title, we have selected the equation of state and we set the units. And we continue with this one under the tree, component selection properties. Okay, select this one. All right, you can see we have in this window component and then this coefficient, all right? Viscosity, aqueous phase and model option. We will focus on the component. Here we will insert components from library, but we can also insert our own properties. For example, for the heavier component like C7 plus or C20 plus heavier components like that, right? In some software, we use the term of pseudo component or user component. They are the same actually, but we will not use a very complicated components in our case in this video. So we will go to insert component from library in lib open. So Inside our library, we have many components like this. In this video, in this exercise, we will only involve CO2, of course. So just click CO2 and then click this button. And then the next component is methane, CH4. Okay, so very easy. We click OK. Now we have this table the name of the component, all right? And then the critical pressure in atmosphere, critical temperature in Kelvin, and then eccentric factor, molecular weight. All of this information are extracted from CMG library. So don't worry about the accuracy of these values. All right, and read the note. There are more options to input values for volume shift, 
volume shift coefficient and Henry. So it should be about solubility constant, the Henry's constant. Right mouse click their column header. So if you do like this, right click, we can set to zero, set to interface correlation value, use internal correlation for the corresponding context menus. Okay. But we will skip that exercise. We can click apply change. The number and or order of components have been changed. Please verify the composition. Yes. Click OK. All right. So from here, we will go to the next step, which is, of course, the composition. All right. If you check the component property plot, it will be like this. You can skip this, this step, actually. The main important thing is here, but you can also check the component property plot, the critical pressure versus molecular weight. And this is the critical temperature versus molecular weight and eccentric factor versus molecular weight. The next is composition. Okay, for the composition, enter the composition in mole fraction or mole percent. Normally, primary corresponds to the reservoir fluid. Okay, primary corresponds to reservoir fluid and secondary corresponds to the injection fluid if applicable. Blanks will be replaced by zeros. Okay, so for CO2, it will be 0 0.001 for CO2 and for the methane, 0 0.999 and the summation will be one. Make sure if you sum them up, you will get one like this. And we will skip the secondary. Okay, we will deal with injection fluid, which is actually CO2 later. So by setting like this, we will populate the grid with the methane properties originally, initially inside the aquifer. And there are also CO2 there inside the reservoir model. Okay, so from here, so far so good. We can actually save this file. Okay, so click Save As. So this is the folder to which I will store this WinProp file. I will name it WinProp. And this is CO2 injection, like this. So click Save. All right, so you can also check the component composition plot. The CO2, the component composition 0 0.001, and CH4. Legend for the primary. Okay, from here, we can go back to the composition and then press right click, add after, and then simulator PVT. So we can set it to be CMG gem EOS model. We can also set it as CMG stars PVT data or black oil PVT data for black oil simulation. For CCS, we will do compositional modeling. So we will prefer this one, CMG gem EOS model. So I'll click this one. All right. So we need to set a little bit under this folder, CMG gem EOS model. Okay, please be careful here. If you want to type in some comments, you can do here. File selection. Print detailed component properties to WinProp, this one. But you can also print component properties for gem to WinProp underscore CO2 injection gem. We will tick this one. Okay. And then for the reservoir temperature for gem fluid model, 50 degrees centigrade. Celsius, and then we will use Roe Cho aqueous density correlation and use Kestin aqueous viscosity correlation. Hopefully, we can learn about that later on. Okay, but I don't think in this in this video. But yeah, hopefully we can we can learn together about these correlations later. Okay, so from here, we actually can run the model. 
run simulation. Okay, there is a message. CCS win proxy onto injection that has not been saved. Any changes made in the interfaces interface must be saved for the data set to be active in your next simulation. Do you want to save before proceeding? Yes. Okay, so validation, okay. So the selection, the setting, the fluid properties right now has been validated. It's okay. So now it can be used for further simulation in the builder. All right, so far so good. And let's check at our CMG launcher. Okay, here you can see we have the winprop files, .srf, .dat, and .gem. All right. By the way, I've changed the directory, okay? The directory of the file, just to make sure that co2injection.dat, the builder file, is within the same folder, the same location as my winprop file. Okay, so make sure that you store them in the same storage. Okay, so from here, we can go back to our builder here. All right. Okay, this is the CO2 injection dot. We can check again the reservoir. Don't forget about it. All right. And then for reservoir, okay. And then we go to components and then click this button import winprop generated model okay so we will rely on the winprop for the fluid model and then yeah locate this one winprop co underscore co2 injection gem open okay so everything is fine you see the components has been ticked all right has been ticked and we have here inside the folder model bang robinson okay eos set one and then reservoir temperature trs already okay okay so but we have this note import the winprop composition primary data into the data set using z global keywords not necessary so we can skip this one click no all right so far so good but by the way, we can check here at or edit components. You see, we have CO2 there. We also have methane. And if I expand the window, CO2, it's not hydrocarbon, right? Whereas the methane, yes. So we have critical pressure, critical temperature, and eccentric factor, molecular weight, volumetric shift, critical volume, omega A, omega B specific rapidity, and others already populated with information from WinProp library. This is the component definition, interaction parameters, viscosity, aqueous phase solubility and some miscellaneous. So from here, we can click OK. All right, so methane and CO2 already OK, but we haven't defined the water properties yet. So we click this one again, and let's find water properties. There you are. And we need to define a little bit some information for water properties. Here we have density, option molar density in gram mole per meter cube, and then compressibility units in one per kilopascal. Okay. The default setting is this number, but I want to make sure that the value is 4.5 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 7. Okay, again, the unit is one per kilopascal. And for the reference pressure, rather than the default setting, I want to use 
13,100 again in kilopascal. And viscosity, we can skip, click apply, and click OK. All right, so component, so far so good. Now we will continue to the next section, which is rock and fluid. Okay, rock fluid interaction. Okay, see you again in the next CMG for CCS case. Thank you so much for watching and see you.